Hello and welcome, I'm Andy and today we're going to be taking a look at glocalization, which is a combination of globalization and localization. I'm sure most of you have already heard of globalization, which is the process by which businesses or other organizations develop an international influence or start operating in on an international scale. It has shaped our daily lives. We watch TV from America. We wear clothing made in Asia and we eat food grown in Africa. Localization has sprung up to offer an alternative to globalization, as some people aim to move away from the global supply chains, and develop cultures in favor of a more local one. There was a town not far from where I grew up called Totnes, which has introduced its own money to encourage people to spend locally on locally produced products and services. Globalization is the combination of the two. As global firms look to enter markets, they sometimes look to adapt their products and their marketing to suit the local market better. This has become increasingly common as it has allowed them to make greater profits by increasing their sales, whilst at the same time, it's still exploiting their economies of scale and their large supply chains to minimize costs. Good examples of this are KFC and McDonald's in Asia. They are constantly adapting their menus and introducing special products which are based on local foods or festivals. For example, McDonald's has a Sichuan flavored burger and both McDonald's and KFC introduced special menus for special holidays, such as Chinese New Year. Also, famously, McDonald's decided not to sell its Big Mac in parts of India because Hindus do not eat beef, since it's sacred to their religion. It is not just food companies that do this, but also fashion companies and even toy companies. Back in the 1960s, Mattel was famous for making the Barbie. This toy was famous for her blonde hair and blue eyes. However, in more recent years, Barbie has been adapted to the needs of the local market and has now been made in various different varieties to suit their ethnicities. My favorite example of glocalization comes from cinema. Modern movies have the ability to change different aspects of their films in post-production to suit the different markets and cultures. For example, in Pixar's movie Inside Out, they changed the vegetables being offered to the children because Western children view broccoli as disgusting. But in China and other Asian countries, children do not find broccoli that disgusting and they actually quite like it. They have also changed the sports in the background of this clip to better suit the audiences. I think this is an extremely clever way that allows more people to enjoy and understand your film. Films have also started changing their advertising based on which country the film is being shown in. This is an extremely clever way to make more money and higher profits and make their product better suited to local markets. Overall, I think it's a fairly positive thing that companies are showing more respect for local people. Their motivations are purely financial. By glocalizing their products, they can reach a bigger audience and earn higher profits. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask them down below. I'm always happy to help.